Welcome back to Retrocidal's game channel. This is Retrocidal coming back at you with some more LCPDFR 1.0C with ELS version 8. Uh, turn down my computer a tad, maybe. I did install a new car pack. I think this is a this is a combination of skins and a car pack. So I don't know what to tell ya. <laughs> I kind of just put this car together myself and used a car pack. And a skin pack, and here we go, the Liberty Garden skin pack is the pack for the skin. It's pretty easily, pretty easy. Oh my god, I'm, I'm almost positive that my power supply is burning out. God dang it, I don't have any money right now, so this is not good. Let me make sure there's some air going through the roof. Just making some noises a little bit ago, and uh, I've been smelling something funny the past day. I think the fans either got a warrant already. I think my fans starting to. Uh... I want to make you a star, baby. I'm over you, maniac. Some of this traffic go by here, but yeah, I forgot to put the police baton again. And I picked the wrong fat cop, but whatever. I didn't really want to restart my game. I have a lot to do today. I'm gonna double check. Oh, and I could have swore I disabled the photo thing. Oh my god. I swear to God, I did that last night before I went to bed. Well, that's why I double check because sometimes the driver doesn't have a warrant. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and just give him a warrant. All right, man. Well, your plates come up. The owner of the vehicle has a warrant or something. But you guys don't. Let him go. Let him go because yeah, I don't know. There's not a whole lot I can really do. But I thought this car is pretty bad. This is a uh, what is it? Caprice? A Chevy Caprice? Yeah, Chevy Caprice. Pretty nice uh, vehicle. Don't have first-person mod installed yet, but I plan on using these. Uh, I plan on using these for the next couple uh, episodes. So. Yeah, check it out. If I have a computer that's running, then we'll check out the episodes. The way that smell is not good. I mean, something is going to give out, like the power supply. <sighs> that's nothing like the fresh smell of power supply in the morning. <laughs> to get you, to get your day going. Because um, I'm probably going to have to hit Best Buy up for power supply because I don't, have, I don't want to order one. I got this one about a year ago, and it was it was just kind of some odd ones, so I guess it must have not had a good fan in it. So we just we'll go ahead and help these guys here. Sit over here and cover this guy really quick. Let's get our car out of the middle of the road here. Pretty nice little car here. Never used it before. I like the way it looks. Holy shit. Okay, we've got a. We also got a. Uh, we're good to go on this, so. Uh, <laughs> We're good to go on that. We're going to be following this truck that's been speeding right here. Yeah, this is it. He's, he's, 
feel, ah, he's refusing to uh, even slow down at this point. Having a hard time telling Clover. Oh, that's why my scripts are screwed. Aren't they gonna arrest that guy ever? Let's see if, that, if they arrest that guy, I'll stay with this guy in pursuit. I gotta arrest that guy. I gotta arrest that guy in that call before I can do anything else, I think. Okay, he struck somebody. We're gonna try and see if I can get him out of the car at least. Get her out of the car. back after her. She's already, she's not, she did something pretty screwed up. She screwed up in the, oh come on, back up, go, 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 go. Car's over here. Oh, looks like we got her. I'm gonna go and call Matt and stop traffic. Matt not gonna work either, or what happened? Did he run over the girl? I'm gonna have to reload my scripts really quick. We're gonna call this code before we call Matt. And, uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and reload my scripts really quick, so. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Didn't realize it was gonna kick me out of the car, but we'll just get back in and reload scripts real quick here. Sorry about that. It happens though, you know, it's part of the game, so there's not much I can do about it. Here we go. You hear that? You like that mod right there? Hear it? Bing, bing, bing. He only does it when you first start up the car, so. Alright, looks like we've cleared That's cleared it. I just gotta go back onto patrol now. Um, which, good thing there's another station right here, so I'm just gonna hop in here. I wanna change my outfit anyways. In fact, cops kinda. He's funny, but he's kind of slow and annoying, so we'll just change out really quick here and grab another car and then we're good to go. Log in real quick back to this. So, okay, but derp but derp, before I go all blonde on myself and forget what I'm doing. Yesterday, I was kind of, I had to, like, I don't know if you've heard me before, but I do auctions, well, we do auctions, like me and my dad, and he, and I have to, like, go through the stuff, and anyways, I, I we both take a couple truckloads of stuff out to sell, anyways, so, we, um, we'll go ahead and go with the state trooper. And anyway, so yesterday I was just kind of getting ready, my getting the truck, uh, all the stuff in the garage, because it looked like a rainstorm was coming in, and did, so... And the rain really ruins stuff because we put everything in the box, you know, if there's clothes or whatever have you, it gets pretty fucking ruined. So it's kind of hard to sell it after that. So I threw it all in the garage and was going through my truck and covering it up and stuff. And then uh, I guess I'll show you the cars on the pack. Here's the CV. And so I was just kind of out there doing my thing. Oh, forgot to take that car out. And here's this. We'll go ahead and take the, uh, now let's take the same car out. And uh, so... Uh, in the car really quick. We'll be ready to go back out on patrol here. <laughs> oh, looks like time's getting a little later. So anyways, I just saw this uh, poor black dude, man, walking down the street. I was like, well, what is he doing? You know, he's like, younger guy, you know. As like, uh, maybe, not too young, but you know, he's, I don't know, maybe, maybe even like, maybe young, like in his early 20s. And so he was, I saw him, he's, he was like pushing a baby car and like, uh, like some baby stuff. And like, so, like, well, that's interesting, you know, and so I, uh, we're gonna stop up here. Ooh, I forgot to put my speed reading uh, script back in, so. Oh, well. I just eyeball it for now. Anyway, so I, uh, you know, I just saw him sitting there, and, uh, 
and I was sitting there walking by and I was like, oh wow, I got this crib that uh, I've actually took it out a couple times and nobody's bought it. It's kind of hit and miss with baby stuff sometimes. Oh, okay, that, that makes perfect sense. Anyways. Yeah, we'll just fix that. Fix the car real quick. Anyways, since that... Okay, let's go ahead and go after this. We're going to check this guy out real quick. So I just saw him walking. It's kind of hot. He was sweating. And I was like, damn. Uh, I, you know, I got this baby crib. You know, I could sell it, probably sell it for 10 bucks. It was in pretty good condition. I'm sure it was a decent one. And, you know. So, um, anyways. I just like, hey, man, you know, you need the baby crib. So, you know, I saw you carrying all this baby stuff here. And I was like, well, I asked him, first I asked him if he had a baby first, actually. Because uh, I just wanted to make sure, you know. Okay, we're going to go ahead and light him up. State Trooper, pull over now! Not the best spot, but we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Maybe I should push him up just a tad, just so he kind of... I'm just going to push him up just a tad, so we're kind of out of the road here. So I was, he was all like sweaty and just hot, and I was like, "Dude, where have you, you been walking a lot?" And he's like, "I just, I just came from the south side of town." And let's just say, walking from the south side of town is uh, is um, is pretty far. And I run this in the license in our computer real quick. Why I keep talking, anyways. So. You know, he, he was like, man, thanks a lot. You know, it was a pretty decent crib, so it wasn't like it was just some piece of junk that was, you know, full of baby pee or some shit, you know. It was pretty decent, so. Anyways, let's check in uh, the search our database for this Carl guy. I want to make sure this warrants, uh, is actually for real. This plate reader sometimes doesn't always work right, so. I don't know. I, this in the name of the, you know, episode is retrocidal, you know, um, Gives that a baby crib. So I just thought that was kind of neat, the timing of it, you know, when I went out there and did it. it just the whole timing, you know, of it was kind of neat. Uh, sometimes things, you know, you kind of are meant to happen and you, you'll feel it like like the timing of it. And so that's what I did. All right, well, this guy's got no active warrants, but he's not good to drive either. So let's see, do I have a taser out? Let's see, no. Yeah, I do. Do I have a taser? Oh, I do have a taser, okay. Alright, sir, well, sorry to ask you to get Could out of your vehicle. Could you please step outside your vehicle and place your hands on the roof? Give you, I'll give you one thing, you do got a pretty fly outfit, man. I'll unload a whole clip in you. But, unfortunately, you don't have a license, so I'm going to have to give you a ticket. For not having, uh, you know, for the not having the license. Uh, valid trans, uh... A valid uh, license. Get that piece of garbage out of here. And the uh, the vehicles also uh, has the, a warrant on it for the owners, so we're gonna be telling that. To all units, we've got a traffic felony. Algonquin Dukes Expressway. Okay, yeah, traffic felony. So we're gonna be telling your car, uh, you're gonna be free to go, but we're gonna call you a taxi because you know, uh, yeah. Let's see, where's uh. Criminals performing drive-by activity on Stillwater Avenue. Hey, we're just gonna ask this guy to move along then. Uh, gonna release him. Get a move on. We're gonna tow this car. Alright, I crashed my uh, taxi. I figured it doesn't have it. Because uh, it spawned in a weird spot, so that's not a normal, so whatever. It may still work, but we gotta get caught up with this uh, pursuit here that they asked me to back up. Looks like it's starting to get a little late at night here, so let's try to get some action. This, I like this movie siren, but it's only got two tones. It's kind of weird. It sounds good, though. I'll probably switch it up next round, though. It looks like he's going to be... Oh, 
goes back this way. Whoa! I have to be staying back from this. I need backup. I need backup. Gosh, damn. Get out, get out, driver, get out right now. Last chance. Too late. through there. Okay, we're good to go, man. We got him. Didn't take a bullet that time. They were they were shooting. They shot through my car, though, the bastards. Uh, seem to be having a problem with my mech for some reason. I don't know why. Anyways. Ah, oh, I got a glitched. Got a glitched car. Shoot, this this round's a little funky, eh? Huh? Not sure why, but. Can't do that right now. Don't got a car, so we're gonna. I think that was it. Yeah, that's it. okay. I just requested a new car, so. Um... I only plan on doing any more, a couple more calls anyways. It's been a little funky this episode, but whatever. You know how it is. <laughs> Not sure why Met doesn't want to get out of the vehicle and actually pick up the uh, bodies. I wonder if I set something different. Let me see. Let's see. I don't know. I'm going to try setting... I switched that, so I don't know if that has anything to do with them not working. So we'll go ahead and uh, just kind of, yeah, just let that uh, play out. Sierra. 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 She's having a bad dream. I don't know why she has a bad dream. I don't like my house very much. Seems like it's like not a very nice house. I'll explain it in another episode of why I don't like my house. But. Sierra. I don't let her sleep. I was just trying to make all noise because she uh, she has bad dreams. Is that weird? Like I don't know. I think it's the house. Causing it. Because like even my old girlfriend, she used to have bad dreams here. I don't know why, but... She used to have pretty bad dreams, actually, and uh, now my dog, she's a female too, and she kind of has bad dreams, so I don't know. It's kind of odd, if you ask me. Anyways, I'll talk about that some other time, but... We'll get into a little bit of, uh, you know... Get into some paranormal talk one of these nights. I, I get into that kind of stuff. I'm going to start talking, like I say, different things about different episodes and stuff. But it looks like we're just about getting ready to end our uh, patrol here. If we can catch anybody else. Uh. Oh, 
my god, no, please, none of that foot patrol stuff. Nobody cares about him. Central to all no, I don't want to join the patrol. Too bad. <laughs> Damn, those stupid foot pursuits, man. Every freaking, like, few blocks you get one, it seems like. Already got them going, so we'll just stay on the traffic, anyways. Calls and traffic, not sure if I should be, uh. I don't think it's calls. Oh, 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 I see something there. Did she get in? Oh, no, she didn't. Sucks. There we go. This car, you can turn the lights on and off. I wonder if K doesn't look on that. K doesn't look on this one. Just trying to see if anybody picks up this girl real quick here. A little, uh, little prostitution sting. Out there hustling. All, All right, we're gonna have to let her go, I guess, because yeah, we got a robbery in progress. So. Oh, well, that guy's running around like an idiot, but whatever. Damn it, she just got into a car, huh? She's so lucky that I have to go to this call here. <laughs> Inside here, maybe? Yeah, they are. They're in here inside here. I'm gonna have to probably get out on foot here, maybe. I'm have to get out on foot here and try to rush these guys. He's just doing circles here? Okay. Sir, 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 stop your car. Stop your car. Step outside your car immediately. Step outside the car, sir. Stop your car! Stop your freaking car! Get. He's got four flats. There we go. There's one way to stop the car, huh? So, no. There we go. Oh shit! A little too late on the on the fire extinguisher, I get. I guess. Oh, we'll still get anyways. The fire. So I was a little slow on that. I forgot the button, so yeah. Anyways, <laughs> almost killed myself. What code for on that? Stop the vehicle and pull over. Stop it. Code 4. Well, it's definitely been an interesting patrol there. I don't usually go back into that area. Holy crap. Looks like those guys were chasing somebody to me, didn't it? Always a busy night in Liberty City. Or I guess you would say Liberty Gardens. I guess I'm not in the right area. Whatever. Whoa, baby. Alright, well I guess those guys are... are gone. We're gonna have to turn off all, the, all these lights and stuff real quick. See, but I kind of got that girl for prostitution, man. That would have been cool.
Oh, it looks like this vehicle's a little unword unroadworthy here. Ooh, baby. I just about caused it to have. Oh, you know what? This guy hit this guy, so we're gonna pull her over instead. Please pull over to the side of the road. It's not the other person's fault that this person rammed in the back of him. I'm gonna check her. Uh, check her out for aggressive driving. You're driving give a, a little bit like an asshole. Show me some ID. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just gonna call this one in to dispatch here. Three active warrants, okay. Well, She's gonna Please step, step out, out and place your hands on the hood. Put your hands out where I can see them. Mm, she's dressed a little conspicuously. I wonder what she does. Put your hands on top of your head. I can stop traffic for a second while I arrest her. Here. Clean. No, she's Get not. Stop telling me she's clean. Put your hands on your fucking head and don't make She's got three warrants, man. She's not clean. <laughs> and so, anyways, I plan to do that from now on. Like, kind of, uh, you know, do uh, what do you call that? Um, uh, like when I donate things, I'm gonna make a video about it. Just because, like I say, I don't want to be remembered as just a Mexican. I want to be remembered as as somebody that actually helped people and did things for people. I'm sick and tired of people putting me down and saying I don't do this and I don't do that. And when they're the ones that don't do anything. And I don't have anything and I still do it. And I don't have anything hardly. Hardly anything. You guys don't know what not having anything is. A lot of people don't, really. I'm talking about lots of different things from family to 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 money to love to you know everything. So just be glad for what you got because it's a lot worse. I think the only thing that could be worse now is if I, like, you know, got really sick and died, I guess. That's about the only thing that could get worse. Anyways, we're going to take her down to, uh, Everything we'll take her down to the, uh, precinct here. And, uh, we're going to be, uh... So yeah, I don't know what it means. I just want to say that because it's like, I don't know, I've had some, I like, I used to tell people, like, I do this. I don't know, they just try to say that I didn't do it. And like, I was like, well, what do you mean I didn't do it? Like, you know, they always just be smug about it. Especially like, like people, like rich people, they have a lot of money and they always be real smug about it. Like, oh, like, I don't do nothing. And like, they'd never give me a dollar to help anybody out, you know, because it's probably no use of it for some other thing or something. I don't know, you know how people are, they're stupid. For the people that are actually helping people, you know, nobody wants to help them help people. Anyways, so that's kind of like a little rant at the end there that I don't... That, uh, you know, I really just would like, you know, to be remembered as somebody that actually helped people. And I think I might have found somebody else to help with a computer, a couple people actually, so... It's just a matter of time now, we have to save up money and, uh... Save up time. I gotta save up some uh, money to buy extra. You know, go to the auctions, maybe check out, see if I can get anything good and different Please, things like that. Well, we so hopefully that's just a plan. You know, like I said, like yesterday, uh, yesterday. Well, less than 12 hours, ago, I gave you know that that guy, that poor black guy, is walking down the street a baby crib. You know, I think that's still made me feel kind of good. And I just don't want to say it. I'm not trying to brag about it or anything. But I just I think it's good to have you know to let people know that what you do and that like, you're a decent person and not, you know, some idiot out here like most of the people are, but this is Retrocidal signing out. Hopefully you enjoyed this, enjoyed this episode of LCPDFR and I'm trying to turn this into more of a talk show, so not a talk show, but just, you know, something that we talk about on a regular basis, different things. So hopefully, wish me luck, I'm going to need practice as far as, you know, um, 
how to say things. I've, like I said, I've never spoken in front of people really, so I just don't know uh, we're going off duty, sorry. We're off duty, sorry. Alright guys, we'll take care. I'll see you in the next episode of LCPDFR.